dear friends, welcome to our channel, Best Project. Today, we will discuss about this project which is, Temperature Controlled Water Heater. As you're seeing in this video, this is the project setup. Please subscribe to YouTube channel. These are the topics we will discuss in this session. Let's talk about the components used in this project. The first one is voltage regulator. It is used to step down and amp. Convert the AC230 volt to 5 volt DC because Arduino Nano cannot work beyond 5 volt DC. To show the different parameters like temperature, cutoff value, heater, on, off status. We will use Nokia 5110 LCD which is removable, as you can see. Arduino Nano is the brain of this project. It is also removable. If something wrong happens, we can remove Arduino and AMP. Can debug the fault? Is it used to run all the components like LCD, relay, etc.? This blue cube on the screen is 5 volt, 5 ampere relay. It is used to on and off the heater. The current value of relay must be greater than the load current. This black circular knob is a rotary encoder used to set the desired level of water temperature. It can be rotated to set the temperature value in degree centigrade. After setting the temperature value, push the knob one time to start the heating operation. This is LM35 temperature sensor. It is used to measure water temperature in degree Celsius. This is 230 volt AC socket. Red LED is used to indicate heater on off status. Main switch is used to switch complete setup. It controls 230 volt AC. We will use this soldering heater to heat the water. It is 40 watt soldering iron. We can also use a professional water heater used in the home application. We are taking a little amount of water to reduce the heating time. For fast demonstration of setup, we can also heat large amount of water using the same circuitry. We will stick LM35 on the glass surface to detect the most accurate temperature. Let's test our system first. We will put the soldering iron in the AC socket and put it in the water to heat. Now we will connect the system to supply and we'll observe what happens next. Name of the system is appearing on the screen as you can see. Now, we need to set the temperature we want to heat using the circular knob. After setting the temperature value, we will push the knob to turn on the heater operation. Heater is in off condition as you can see here. Heater has turned on successfully. The current temperature is 27 degree. After 2 minutes, the temperature is 31 degree, as you can see on the screen. The water has started boiling slightly, we can see, in the glass. After 1.5 minutes, the temperature has 33 degree. Bubble are appearing across the heating element, as we can see on the screen. Temperature is increasing with time, as showing on LCD screen.
Temperature has reached 37 degree. Vapors are appearing across the iron surfaces. We can see it through glass. It indicates that our system is working properly. Our system should turn off at 39 degree C because cutoff value is 39. Concentrate on the system to check it is turning off or not. Heater has turned off successfully at 39 degree C. It means our system is working very fine. We can also observe heater status on the screen.